Om Shanti, today is your 47th day of a blessing. And in today's blessing, Baba is guiding us. He's telling us exactly how we should follow his guidance. And by following his guidance, we shall always remain under the safety of his light, his might. So being a Brahmin is what? So Baba is asking us to become a true Brahmin. So a true Brahmin is who? A Brahmin is somebody who is the foundation of all the religions. Just like a tree of life is there, the roots are there. The Brahmin is like the roots and all the tree, the trunk and the branches are the main religions of the world. A Brahmin doesn't belong to any particular religion. A Brahmin is not a Hindu nor a Muslim. But Brahmin is somebody who is the seed of all the religions. That means a Brahmin has got the Brahma Gyan. That means he knows where exactly the Brahma Tattva is. What is Brahma? Brahma is also known as Nirvan Dham by Buddhists who want to go into liberation. Brahma Tattva is also known as alam e by the Muslims. They say the Ruhu or the Atma is going to go back into that place. Brahma Tattva is also known as the Heavenly Godfather's abode where Godfather lives. It's a red golden world of light. Brahma Tattva is also known as Mukti Dham by Hindus. So Mukti means the soul needs liberation. So it's a place where the soul is liberated. So let's find out what exactly Baba has to say today. So Baba says, may you always be free from having waste thoughts and constantly move along with the customs and systems of Brahmin life. So how do we remain free from waste thoughts? Let's explore. Those who move along in life with Brahmin customs. So what are the Brahmin customs? We have to first follow what Godfather is teaching us. We have to meditate on him. We have to make sure that we show the right path of liberation. Liberation from what? Liberation from doing sins. We have been doing so many sins that for the soul to fly away and leave this body becomes difficult. The soul again needs to come and take rebirth because of doing sins. It's not so easy to get liberated from this world just by knowing a couple of shlokas or a couple of verses in your own scriptures. No, that's not it. It's not that you have to go you're going continuously to, to the temple or the mosque or the girjaghar or the or the or the or any other place of worship or a gurudwara and then you are going to be liberated. No, Baba says only when I come down that I give you the knowledge of where you have to return and how you have to purify your thoughts and your karmas that you can be liberated because he is the liberator. No human being can be a liberator. No sadhu sant can be a liberator. No monk can be a liberator because they themselves are looking for liberation. So Baba says, those who move along in life with Brahmin customs and systems always keep in their awareness the instructions of Srimat. That I need to first find liberation for myself and then I have to guide others to be liberated. So then Baba says, Then throughout the day, while busy in their pure household activities, so in Brahma Kumaris, we are not here to separate a husband and wife, we are not here to separate families. But being in a household and doing your activities, what do we need to do? Let's see. Throughout the day, while busy in their pure household activities, they cannot be attacked by any waste thoughts of Ravan. What is Ravan? Ravan means lust, anger, greed, ego attachment is there in a female also. That's why there are five heads. And then all the same things, lust, anger, greed, ego attachment is there in the male also. So irrespective of your gender, whether you're male or a female, you're a soul. So you have got all these vices inside you, these five vices. That's why Raman is shown with five heads. It's a depiction of showing how bad the souls have become in Kali Yuga. So this is a complete Kali Yuga and this is the complete rule of Ravan in everybody's life all over the world. So Baba says, then there won't be any waste thoughts of Ravan. That means lustful, angry, greedy, egoistic and other thoughts will not be there. The activity of the intellect is to have pure thoughts. So what is the activity of intellect? Of a Brahmin is to have pure thoughts towards self and towards others. Then Baba says, the activity of the voice is to relate to others. I need to relate to others. That's my activity. 
I need to relate to others what? Relate to others what the Father has related to you and the activity of God the Father. So all the thoughts, all the knowledge which God has given us has to be related to others. That's the purifying way and that's the way you can purify your soul completely. That you don't talk anything which is nonsense. You talk only sense and godly knowledge has got all the pure powerful sense in it. Then Baba says, activity of the body, what do we do with the body? Is to perform every action as a karma yogi. Karma yogi means you're doing your karma. At the same time, you're connected to God, the Father. Those who remain busy in this activity become free from having waste thoughts. So if I'm busy in this activity, I'm free from having any form of waste thoughts. Provide my thoughts, my words and my actions are going as per God's guidance. That is known as Shrimat. So if I'm following the Shrimat, I'm following God's dictates. Otherwise, I'm following my own dictates and I'm following Ravan's dictates. And that is where we falter as a Brahmin or as a being who's trying to become a good soul. So I leave you with this beautiful Vardhan, Om Shanti.